What the heck is a Nintendo Famicom kiosk? To understand the Famicom kiosk, we must first go back to 8-bit Japan. The NES we know today was known as a Famicom family computer. It was a cartridge-based device. Then Nintendo released a floppy drive edition, allowing access to rewritable media for the first time. The floppy disks were proprietary and called disk cards. These were double-sided, each containing 56 kilobytes of data, and in total 112 kilobytes could be saved. The Famicom disk system had a real trick up its sleeve. You could take your disk to a kiosk in Japan, pop it in, and a new game would be written to it for one-sixth the price of the cartridge game. To further entice customers, exclusive titles were added such as Mario Rose. These kiosk systems were so loved in Japan that they didn't stop operating until 2003.